Hey guys, Linda here, back with part four, the final part of our Doughboys juice review. I'm going to be doing automatic, and that is a pumpkin donut flavor. Again, it's a 70 VG 30 PG, and I'm vaping that in three milligram nicotine. Um, starting that at 90 watts, I'll take it down to 70, I'll drop it down to 50, and I'll let you guys know if, um, if the taste changes up at all through, uh, you know, changing up the temperature or anything like that. And so I will just get right into it and then we'll chat. All right, so I'm definitely picking out the pumpkin and like the cake donut, you know, kind of bakery tones in this. I'm also picking up almost like a spiced kind of flavor. Um, nowhere in the profile does it say it's like a spiced pumpkin flavor or a spiced donut or anything like that. Um, it just says pumpkin and cake and donut. And so, um, but I'm definitely, I feel like I'm picking out a little bit of a spiced flavor, which I think adds to the pumpkin flavor because this is not like a fresh uh, pumpkin like you would get like you know in a pumpkin pie or something like that it's not like um, it definitely has a different sort of taste to it than you know what I would think of as a pumpkin donut or a pumpkin pie or you know anything like that because I guess um, I'm used to using you know kind of a fresh pumpkin sort of thing if you were baking and you're not going to get that in a vape you know in an e-liquid you're not really going to get that fresh flavor it's definitely a flavoring that they're using that being said it's not a bad flavoring it definitely has you know that pumpkin sort of flavor to it um I feel like at the lower temperatures, like down around 50, it tastes a little bit more artificial, I think, than it does at 70 or 90 watts. Um, 90 watts is kind of the sweet point on this one for me, personally. Yeah. Um, I think I pick out the bakery notes a little bit better at 90 watts um, and that you know kind of spiced pumpkin it's not a heavy spice it's just a very mild sort of hint that I feel like I'm picking up on that overall a pretty nice flavor um, I love pumpkin flavor just about anything like pumpkin pie or pumpkin you know spiced donuts or uh, you know in lattes or anything like that I really love pumpkin flavors I wait all year for fall to come so that I can have those flavors this is a nice substitute I think during the spring and summer months when it's very hard to find those types of flavors um, I'm not sure that I would vape it all day just because of the artificial flavoring of the pumpkin in it for me that wrecks it just a little bit. Some people I know don't really care about things like that. Um, and so, you know, they would really love this. It would be a really good all day vape. Nice and smooth. I'm not getting any like burn in the throat from the nicotine. The nicotine in this line is really nice. 
um, and I'm not getting any pain in the chest or any, you know, like kind of a harshness in the chest or anything like that off of this flavor. So it is a really, really nice flavor. I think I'm definitely interested in trying this one in a tank. And of course, if you guys have tried it in a tank or if you get any different kind of flavor from it, let me know in the comments below. I definitely, definitely want to hear from you guys on this one, especially. Um, I think overall the line is, it, it's a really nice line. It's not the best donut flavors that I've tried, but it's definitely not the worst either. You know, it's a nice kind of middle ground, really nice sort of treat kind of donuts. I'll probably be vaping on the Dixon Cider today and maybe the Bluebees too. I might switch those two up today. Um, I think that out of the four flavors that I have, those were my absolute favorite. I do want to point out that this line has two other flavors to it that I don't have. I only have these four flavors. The other one was uh, do not give up, donut give up. Uh, and that was a salted caramel donut. And then use your coconut, which was a donut coconut glaze. Um, uh, donut, coconut, and frosting was the primary flavors in that one. So if you guys have tried those and you have thoughts on them, let me know in the comments. I have not tried those flavors. Um, I may think about picking them up um, at some point in the future, but I don't have them today. And so um, overall, I think the line is really nice. And if you guys are just looking for a nice dessert um vape or donut vape that's got like good bakery notes in it this is a good one to try out uh, I'm gonna leave you with that today and that will be the review for this week um, thanks everybody for watching I really appreciate the support that I've received and I know there's been a few changes to the channel here recently and so I definitely appreciate the continued support and encouragement from you guys and um, always looking forward to hearing from you.